Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please consider leaving a like, a comment, or a subscription. Any of you all help the channel grow, and they help get this out in front of other people, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. Now, in our last episode, we worked on getting our refineries done up here, so that we can start mass producing, well, I say mass producing, so that we can start converting the iron ore we're getting, uh, into iron bars in preparation for us to make iron wire to give us our wire production. And we note, or at the end of it, we realized we needed 45 constructors for ease and for looks. I'm going to go with 44 because that gives me four rows of 11. And I'm just going to overclock one of them and be done with it. Uh, so we have got a. Come on. We have got a blueprint already for a constructor manifold. So if I just come in here and I load that. There we go. A uh, constructor manifold. I think we made it ages ago. And here it is. But I don't like it. Because it's only a set of four. It's inefficient. I'm actually going to try and redo that and make a better one today. So we want to clear that. We want to get all of our stuff back out. And what I'm going to try and do, or how I'm going to start, is I'm going to start with doing... Uh, yeah, they take up one each, so I want to do that. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to mirror that on this side. Because then that will allow me to put mergers in the middle. Uh, not mergers. Splitters. That's what I want. Ooh, already got that wrong. Two... Three, four. Excellent. And we can belt these in. Okay, run this all along. We can put holes like this. So, come on, right at the edge, there we go, excellent. Okay, we can then put our mergers on the outside. Oh, you're telling me I've not got enough room, how are you? Because I've not quite, that's okay. That's okay, I will use the logistic floors for that and I will drop them all below. Um, but that actually kind of does it, so if I just set all of these four... Where are we? Iron wire. So normal is one to th one bar into two wire at a rate of 15 to 30. This turns 12 and a half to 22 and a half. So not quite one to two, but we're using iron instead of copper and it is faster. Okay. Okay. Right. And then we should be able to call this dun 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 dun, iron wire manifold uh, and set it under yeah put it there that's fine yep and then let's make sure it's saved this time no it hasn't I really don't know what I do wrong with it. Iron wire manifold select directory add blueprint here. Yeah. Okay. Edit. Apply changes. 
save blueprint. Okay, now have I got it in there? Yes, I have. Okay. So now we can clear the designer. Take all that. Clear the... Get rid of the designer. And now we can go up here and we can start putting our... Four rows of 11 in. And at the moment, that's two rows of four. Which should be okay. So... No, 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 no. So now... Clear that. We can go to our blueprints. And so that is... I don't know. Oh, I don't need ten of them. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Right. So, eight, sixteen... Twenty... Oh, I don't know. We'll just we'll just go. So blueprints. There we go. There we go. So that's it heading away from us. Uh, right. Let's give us a bit of space to work with. So that is two rows of four. That's now two rows of eight. So I just... I will need to manually add two onto the end there. Which I think is fine. Considering I need to join the middle up as well. Are you kidding me? Why did you flip that? Oh my god. So, one of the comments I've had come through, I completely agree with. I need a way to undo blueprints instead of having to take the whole thing apart. So, uh, yeah, that's really annoying. I've no idea why it did that. Right, take all of this apart, including that one remaining belt that managed to survive. Okay. Now then, let's try that again, shall we? Right, line up. Whoop. Stop it. Right, they're on the same side now. So now... Come on. What are you playing at? Why are you not middle clicking? Now you should go straight in there. Lovely. Okay. And then we can manually put two more on the end. Okay, well at least we know we can kind of fit it. that. You're going to come in here. You're going in like that. Uh, and then you're going like that. Okay. Wow. Oh, I need to connect the power up, don't I? That's all of those done, and these last ones need their recipe setting. Okay. Well, that's that done. And now we just need to duplicate that again on the other side. So we're going to need some more space. Okay. Uh, there we go. Put that there. Lovely. That's that done. 
Oh, blueprints. They are so good. I will give them that. You're also now powering this one. Uh, hook those bits up like that. Cool. And then we'll run you along like this. so. And you need an extra two. Yeah, I am kind of glad I'm doing this as playthrough when I am because I am not going to lie to you. The, the heroes is the only way to describe them. They did playthroughs before even zooping. Oh my god, the scale those guys built to and just having to do every single piece of concrete by hand. Yeesh. I feel kind of lucky that I'm doing this for you guys where I've got zooping and blueprints. Right, okay. And you guys need to be told you are doing iron wire. There we go. And you, my friend, are the lucky chap that gets overclocked. So, how much did we need to go over? It was... Hang on, 44.56. Oh, it's not an overclock, it's an underclock of 0.56. Okay, 56%. Fine. So, that bank will then go on to become <laughs> cable. This bank will go on for storage for us. Okay, that's fine. Now we just need to put a load of floor holes in. No. Not giving myself a huge amount of room to do that with these. You're wrong. Right, there we go. Cool. Right, and then we'll just go back along this one because I want to make sure where these ones are the ones that are back to back. These are the ones that I really need to make sure I've got the space for. I'm out of iron plates again. Oh, blimey. Okay. Fine. Because I'm going to need those for all the splitters and mergers, so there's no point doing anything around that. So, I will see you guys in a moment. Okay, and we're back. And I actually had a thought while I was away. Because I said it's 44.56, and we've got 44. And for some reason, I underclocked this one. This needs to be... And this was the original thought... 156%. Oh, which means you actually just need two. Just for that teeny tiny sneaky over bit. Okay, alright, fine. So, we're going to use this bank for... Um, yeah, our cable. Which I think is what I said before. This bank is going to be for us. Purely because that's an even number and this one's not. So that's easier to work on the next stages with. So, we needed to finish putting these floor holes in. Here we go. Yeah, and we'll just tuck it in all nice and tight. Keeping it moving. Okay. Oh, blimey. Okay. Nope, that was too far back. Right, and then... Whoop. There we go. Okay. Fine, now we've got to put all of the lift heads in. Okay. So, 
I probably should have tested it. Can you blueprint floor holes straight onto the floor uh, in the blueprinter? Uh, or do you have to lay a foundation first? Because I kind of wish you could just put a floor hole into the uh, blueprint machine so that you didn't have to um, yeah sort of assume the gap was there and you've got to line the foundations up I kind of yeah I kind of hope you can Right, last ones. Right, yeah, man. There we go, right. Okay, so how we're going to feed these are we're actually going to use more floor holes. Uh, because these are uh, currently underneath so we are going to need to do that feed these out like that ok oh no idea what I've just pinged for iron I'm guessing right ok so Those are the input ones, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. So you guys are the guys that are coming up. You need to have this floor extended out. Okay, that was maybe a bit too far. Right, so... Those two can come back. You can go out that way. Oh, blimey, I'm glad I brought so much concrete with me. Come on. So, one of the things I'm still wanting is, and I'm probably... Whoa, those water pipes. Probably banging on about it a fair amount, is... Uh, still wanting names for various locations that we're working with at the moment because yeah I haven't had them come through I'm still working loads out but that's what we're going to want right so we're going to want a splitter I think here Yeah. And then actually, because they're all in line, I'm going to bring that down. Uh, facing that way, because then it will be a nice right angle. He says, although that's got a slight kink to it. Oh, well. Oh, how is this not lined up? Okay, that's... Yeah, that's a problem. Right. Oh, right, okay. Nine. We want a splitter. Coming in this way. Doing that, I believe. Just do that. Right, and that'll make it nice right angles. Okay, then I can send that up like that, and that's going to start feeding the above. So these guys should all start ticking on and going green. There we go, we can see them going. 
Now, how much are you guys throwing out? 22 and a half per minute. Okay, so 22.5 times, and each one of these is a bank of 10. It's 225, hang on. They are meant to be banks of 11, aren't they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, they're meant to be banks of 11. Okay, well, we'll just have to add the extras on. And now I'm missing cable. Oh, my flipping days. I suppose on the plus side, we don't have to go all the way back because these guys are actually making the prerequisite for it. Okay. Uh, production. Craft bench. Can you make me some cable? Yes, you can. You can make me a load of it. <clears throat> okay. Let's just get a chunk. Okay. And then... We'll come back over here, and we need four of these. One. Two. Oh. Okay, and you need to go like that. I am suspicious that I don't see any up this end yet. Oh no, they are going. The manifold is just filling slowly. Fine. Right, and then you. Down there. Right, feed like that. Not what I meant to do. Right, that's those. Howard. Right, and then you're a normal 100% one, aren't you? Yep. Okay. Alright, so that should start feeding all of that. you're now backed up which is now, yeah, that's doing all of that that's good, okay fine, so now we need to deal with the getting everything back out, so here is where we're going to be working with do -do -do -do, the tier 1's again these ones down like that. Wearing them all across. So I'm curious to see what builds you guys are getting up to. I know Zach, uh, very vocal guy in the chat, or not the chat, but the comments, is telling me that he is working on a sky bridge, or a sky train network, similar to what I've put together, so, yeah, that's really cool to hear that's being built, so curious to hear what anyone else is working on, because I do love to discuss these things, also, if anyone has any blueprints they want to no showcase or share or anything. We have got Discord, which I'm not going to lie, is incredibly quiet at the moment. Um, but that is on account of basically me being a very small channel. So although I've got it set up, it's there. I've I'm trying to. Oh, I know. I say I'm trying to keep an eye on it. 
there's nothing it's very quiet so there's not huge amounts that I have to worry about with it at the moment but it's a uh, it's there for people to come and have a chat about active series I've got going on we've got a specific uh, channel in there it's for blueprint sharing so that anyone can upload blueprints the only request I've put on there is that anyone that does share uh, puts a screenshot of what they've blueprinted so that anyone that's considering having a look at it can physically see it before they sort of choose to download it um, that's, that's the only thing I've sort of requested for that okay but yeah I, I, I'd love to see any blueprints you guys have put together uh, feel free to share them because if it's particularly useful I might wind up using it in the series uh, I know there are a ton of load balancers that people use out there. I'm not a load balancer person, so I mean, feel free to share them. I may use one at some point, but it's not uh, a go-to that I, I would like would normally try and use purely because I actually really quite like the manifold system. Uh, I am definitely a manifold person. Right. Then we can merge these along this way. I will admit, this wasn't what I was planning to do. I was actually planning to loop one around the outside. But this literally came to me as we were building it right now. That I can just feed all of them together underneath on the logistics floor. And then I've not got to cross anything. And they all just come together on the same line. Which I think will be nice. go uh, and then we can bring these in like this yeah I think that works quite nicely I think that's decent use of the space as well. Uh, and then run all these guys up the middle. Cool. And this is the one that's going to have to make its way back to our train station. It's going to be over there, that's fine. But I'm going to replicate this over here now. And this will be the bit that goes off to become cable, which means we're going to need to bring rubber over here because the plan I was going to use was if I quickly go to production and assembler, I'm missing cable. Of course I'm missing cable. Because, you know, that's the whole point that we're trying to build, to get the cable set up. Okay. Let's just quickly knock some of this out so I can show you what I'm planning on. So, if we then go to the assembler, my plan is, not quick wire, this one, insulated cable. So, we take 45 wire and we make 100 cable a minute out of it, oh, which is a silly amount. Whereas, if we go with the constructor route to make cable, it's 60 into 30, so that halves it. This more than doubles it. Yes, we have to use rubber, but we've got rubber in abundance. So that's the plan. So we're going to be swimming in uh, cable more than I'm going to know what to do with. I don't think these are facing the right way. Right, merger. Yeah, I want you that way. Which will be good, because, I mean, we can sink loads of it. Not that I want to be sinking cable, but that's going to be so much. And we may as well just, you know, maximise what we've got going on. The challenge with it is, where we're going to have that much cable... <sighs> to be honest, I really... 
I, that's going to be a challenge to get out on all the belts. Um, because of how many... Uh, how, how much um, a single... Um, even tier 5 belt can carry. Because, I mean, that's only, what, 780? Which is going to be 7 constructors. And we're not quite at tier 5 everywhere yet. Wanna be. And that will be the plan once we get this place up and running. I want to move on to the getting the aluminium sorted. But I wanted to get the copper bars automated. And doing that meant I may as well get all of this done. So there we go. There is our wire running. I mean, it's backed up, but it's running. And now we just need to get it back over to the train station. Which I'm thinking, I'm just going to run it out here for this batch. Run it out here. Um, drop it down. And go with it from there. Yeah, look, that manifold is just filling up. Taking a while, though. Very much taking a while to fill up that manifold. I had done my maths right on that, hadn't I? I've not made too many. So you're outputting 65. So we've got 8 times 65. Oh, hang on. 8 times 65. That's more than... Yeah, okay. That's more than our tier 4 belts can carry. That's why we've got a bit of a backup. Because I need to make all of this a tier 5 aluminium belt. Which I can't do yet. Okay, so we're future prepping. That's fine. So we are right for it. We just don't have the belt to supply it as yet. But that's where I'm going to wrap it up for this episode. So as usual, likes, comments, subscriptions. They help the channel grow. They get it out in front of other people. So thank you very, very much to those of you that do that. It is very much appreciated. Um, thank you very much to my patrons. And other than that, thank you for joining me as usual. I hope you have a great day, and I will catch you all next time.